Greetings, College of Alameda and honored guests. I am Nathaniel Jones, the college's new president. Live and in person. Wait. Live and on your favorite device. While I don't officially start until December the 4th, I am delighted to bring you greetings and welcome you to the College of Alameda's virtual 50th anniversary gala. For the past five decades, College of Alameda's faculty and staff have served its students and community through the power of education, transforming lives and fueling social and economic benefits. I want to thank and congratulate the College of Alameda's faculty and staff for building a legacy of student-focused achievement. During this gala, you will be treated to a wonderful program that includes various presentations showcasing the talent and creativity of members of the campus community. I would like to recognize and to thank the great COA team that planned and organized this spectacular anniversary celebration for their hard work. I would also like to offer a special thanks to our event sponsor the Alameda Rotary Club and Alliance for Health, as well as all of our valued guests for taking time out of their busy schedules to be part of this momentous occasion. Because of your generosity, we'll be able to provide more students with the support they need to realize their educational dreams. I hope you enjoy the program and I look forward to meeting you in person in the months ahead. Thank you. This year at the College of Alameda, we're celebrating our 50th anniversary. The college opened in June 1970 at its current location in Western Alameda. With its buildings surrounding a central courtyard, the campus is designed to encourage the interaction between students, faculty, and staff essential to an effective learning environment. The College of Alameda is celebrating its first 50 years, and we're just getting started. During COVID-19, College of Alameda has risen to the challenge. With online classes, essential continuing education in-person learning, a distance learning program to loan laptops to students, and community food drives on campus. With a new building for liberal arts just completed on campus, and with over 300 degrees, certificates, and classes to choose from, the College of Alameda is looking forward to your future. Happy 50th anniversary to the College of Alameda. Like your future at the College of Alameda. Hi, my name is Jillian Campbell. I graduated in the class of 2020 as salutatorian with an AAT degree. I was co-captain of the volleyball team for two years. 
where I build meaningful relationships and experiences at the College of Alameda. Now I'm currently at UC Berkeley where I'm majoring in legal studies and building my skills in technology and animation. I personally like to thank all of the administration and professors for guiding me and building me into the individual I am today and allowing me to achieve my academic endeavors. And lastly, happy 50th anniversary. <laughs>
for the next 50 years of educating students in the East Bay. I'm here in Washington, D.C., working to get another stimulus bill passed to help schools and families and businesses to make it through this pandemic. We will get this crisis under control, and I look forward to seeing all of you in person when we do. We have experienced a lot of hardship during this past year. Throughout the COVID-19 pandemic, we all have had to adapt and transform in ways that we never imagined before. Despite these challenges, the College of Alameda rose to the occasion and continued to uphold its core values during these times of uncertainty. You have continue, continued to pursue your educational mission to develop students as thinkers, workers, and yes, citizens of the world. And I'm so proud to represent this school and the student body in the United States House of Representatives. So congratulations to the College of Alameda on 50 years of service, commitment, and dedication. And thank you for helping generations of students find their vision for the future. I look forward to seeing how that vision will shape this community and the world in the years to come. Thank you again and congratulations. Hey everyone, Rob Bonta here, California State Assembly member, proudly representing Alameda, Oakland, and San Leandro. And I wanna share my warmest congratulations to the College of Alameda on the momentous occasion of your 50th anniversary. What an incredible milestone to have served our community so ably and so passionately for half a century. A big thank you to Dr. Don Miller and all of the faculty, staff, and administration at College of Alameda for all you do and for uplifting and empowering our beloved students to meet their educational goals and realize their dreams. Alameda is such an engaged community with so many serving the public and working to create a better community, a community that is more caring, more connected, more inclusive, and more just. I, my wife Mia, and our family are so proud to be a part of this vibrant community, and I'm so proud that College of Alameda is part of this community. You make it better and you make it stronger. Once again, happy 50th anniversary, College of Alameda, and best wishes for your continued success for the next 50 years and beyond. Happy 50th anniversary, College of Alameda. Hello, everyone. My name is Israel Kazan. I am glad. I'm happy. I'm grateful to be joining all of you today. It seems like it was just yesterday when I first set foot in College of Alameda and told myself that it's going to be my home for the next two years until I transfer. In my time at College of Alameda, I remember being welcomed by Ms. Natalie Rodriguez's beautiful smile and her dedicated mobile COA team at Antinal High where I first enrolled in 2018. As an Alameda Promise Caller, counselors Anna Nguyen, Marisa Nakono, and Vivian Verkella have masterfully guided me in my academic journey, keeping me on track. I've learned the most from my wise professors, Dr. Beal, Dr. Henderson, Professor Herrera, Blood, Dr. Papas, Coach J, and Sue. One of the most meaningful and privileged experiences I've had at COA is serving as Student Senate President and working closely with my fellow students and outstanding administrators. The amazing Aja Butler, VP Tina, President Don, former President Tim, Dean Amy, Chung Wai, Ava, Teddy, and at the Anne O'Neill, and many more stellar members of the Cougar family. And my professors, who became my mentor and femtors, Robert Brum, Jane Smithson, and Leslie Ryman, who have believed in me more than I believed in myself as a student and as student body president. With the help of the COA community in spring 2020, I received my AAT in political science and AA in liberal arts, and also was awarded one of the highest honors in the Peralta district as the president's medallion recipient. The COA community has propelled me to continue my studies in political science and public policy at UC Berkeley, where I currently weave networks in the state UC-wide system as I'm directing a legislative campaign advocating for human rights, both in the Philippines and here in the U.S. And recently, I got a job promotion and now serve as the Racial Justice Project Coordinator at Filipino Advocates for Justice, where I've had the privilege of working with youth, movement leaders, and assembly member Rob Bonta. COA has been instrumental in myself, finding the strength in my voice and discerning the impact of my presence, my leadership, especially when what I do is for the community. 
in the next 50 years and more. Let's continue to uplift stories and celebrate legacies. Let's continue to learn from the past wrongs or rights to better inform our present so we can best shape a judicious and equitable future. Salamat Koa for being home to this immigrant kid who's born and raised in the Philippines. Mabuhay to 50 years and to 50 more years. Take care. Good evening, everyone. Welcome. We're excited to have you joining us this evening. I'm Don Miller, the Vice President of Instruction at College of Alameda. And I know you could be doing something else right now, and I want to thank you for tuning in with us this evening and affirming again the importance of higher education for our students in these complicated times. I also wanted to start off thanking uh, the Alameda Rotary Club, the Alameda Alliance for Health, Roblin Contracting Incorporated, and Nolan Tem Architects for their generous support of our students and of tonight's gala. And with me this evening is my colleague and friend, Lenise Jones, who's our Executive Director of the Peralta Colleges Foundation. It's great to be here and to celebrate this momentous occasion in the history of College of Alameda. 50 years of serving our students and community is a huge milestone. And it wouldn't be possible without the wonderful, amazing students, faculty and staff, administrators, board of trustees, foundation board members, local dignitaries, donors, sponsors, and partners whose hard work and commitment and inspired leadership has made it all possible. I don't know if you've noticed on the side here, we have a live chat feature. And if you're a College of Alameda student or alumni, drop a line and say hello, or wish College of Alameda a happy anniversary. Today, we've been celebrating the annual Global Giving Tuesday, and we ask you to join in the general and the global generosity movement unleashing the power of the people and the organizations to transform our communities and the world. On the side of the screen, you'll see our donate button for you to be part of the movement. Your contributions, small or large, make a world of difference in the lives of our students. Your contribution helps us to build our student scholarship fund for many grants during these unprecedented times. If you don't see the donate button, please click the offer icon and it'll pop right up. Don? Great, thank you, Lenise. From all of us at College of Alameda and the Peralta Colleges Foundation, thank you for your support and commitment to scholarships and keeping our college a gateway of opportunity for our amazing students. Stay tuned because up next is our first door price for the evening and then we'll have great testimonials and more video presentations. Bienvenidos desde el Colegio de Alameda. Welcome from College of Alameda. We're celebrating our 50th anniversary and we have giveaways for you. I have my friend here gonna be helping me with the drawings. Our first winner Marissa Nakano, you won a College of Alameda t-shirt. Good evening, everyone. I am delighted to join this virtual gala as we celebrate an incredible milestone, the College of Alameda's 50th anniversary. And what a year for such a significant event. 2020 has been filled with challenges, but tonight we celebrate a half century of achievements. The College of Alameda and the City of Alameda have enjoyed a working partnership for decades and we make a great team. The college continues to provide an invaluable source of higher education for generations of Alameda residents, many of whom transfer to a four-year college or university. The college and its one-stop career placement center have helped make our local business community more competitive.
The college was a member of the city's Economic Development Advisory Panel, which oversees policies that support local economic growth and recognize the importance of workforce development and collaboration with the business community to provide high quality jobs and career pathways. The college is also a wellspring of innovation with the addition of the fabulous Fab Lab, which was recognized regionally, receiving this year's East Bay Innovation Award for Education. The Fab Lab supports local workforce development by providing students with the skills and know-how to fill high paying positions in advanced manufacturing companies or create new startup businesses. And the Fab Lab was heroic during the pandemic, organizing the production of critical PPE for our frontline workers, working day and night to produce face shields, masks, and gowns, and then distribute them across the Bay Area and the entire country. Happy anniversary to the College of Alameda. We look forward to the next 50 years of our continued partnership. What we have done here in response to the COVID-19 crisis is pull together a large number of people that in the last 10 days we've spun up essentially a startup to produce PPE. We are dedicated to providing directly to those who need it most for free, homeless shelters, nurses, hospitals, and other medical facilities. We created these tables that have slats in them where you can lay down almost 20 sheets of fabric, then just cut along the line and you can make masks super quickly. I made a quick prototype with a router realized that, hey, there's something to this. And the next call was to Danny and College of Alameda Fab Lab. Inside of two hours, we had the first prototype. When we have four cutters in here really moving, we can make a ton of masks. Last week, we delivered almost 2,500 mask kits to sewers around the Bay Area. After people at home are done sewing, we're taking them to a co-working space down the street called Phoenix. We are sanitizing everything and packing it up for final delivery. This is 10 days from inception. Most of these people hadn't really seen each other or yeah. you know, known each other before. Yeah. On our way to producing tens of thousands of face masks every week yeah. that has zero funding. This is an entirely volunteer operation. Designers Only in Sacramento has donated close to 10,000 yards of fabric. People in here are all volunteers. Sewers are getting their kits from volunteer drivers. Fab Lab and several others around the city donated all the wood for the tables. This space is all donated by Hot Rod Shop. They're a local Alameda business. They had the space available. They're not using it and they've basically just made it available to us. Early on in this process, I identified this facility as a place to receive bulk materials and synced up with a wonderful person on the East Coast who eventually ended up connecting with Coca-Cola. About a week ago, Coca-Cola sent us about 5,000 pounds of bulk plastic, which we were able to convert into roughly 16,000 face shields in about 48 hours. And today, Coca-Cola is dropping off 20 tons of plastic that is gonna be converted into face shields. Roughly be able to get somewhere in the ballpark of 100 to 100 20,000 face shields out of the 20 tons of plastic that's getting dropped off today. We're now serving as a distribution hub to get that material not only here to the Bay Area, but we're actually going to be reshipping stuff out to Colorado, Oregon, and Washington, and I think folks in Arizona. And in this process of reaching out to the world to say we have plastic and we want to help you turn this into face shields, we've been getting requests from India, from China, and other places that don't have easy access to the material. I think a lot about what innovation is, and it's basically just learning as quickly as you can. The number of things that we have learned over the past week, ranging from sanitization of masks to scaling an operation, transport, just figuring out the mask design and getting instructions out to sewers, it's just extraordinary how quickly it's come together and how exhausting it is to have to learn all day, every day, and solve all these problems but it sure is rewarding. Great analogy that, I, that I've really been using is, you know, people always say like, hey, you're building the airplane as you're flying it. We're in fact designing the airplane as we're flying it because we don't have enough time to slow down and actually build everything and design it ahead of time. People are dying today and we need to get this stuff out the door as soon as we can. We've been utilizing the College of Alameda Fab Lab, which is, unfortunately, it's closed at the moment, but we have our staff who are allowed to use that facility. They've been able to produce on-demand things that have been able to improve our manufacturing process quite a bit. The staff there are amazing. We all speak the same language so I can just tell them what I need and start to produce it. What makes the Fab Lab students helpful in this process is we have trained them to not only have the technical skills to manufacture things, but also to be creative, problem solve, to deal with a lot of information, to deal with a lot of ambiguity, and just figure things
things out. This entire crisis is a massive wake-up call to here in the United States about how we don't have local production capacity and how we need that. This is a national security issue. It is no longer a nice to have or a luxury. It's really important that we have local production capacity for everything we consume, not just the life-saving PPE that we're doing today. I'm super grateful to the Peralta Community Colleges for really understanding that Fab Labs provide value and I'm hoping after this experience we're going to get a lot more support because we are training people who are prepared to save your life in the moment of crisis. Happy anniversary, College of Alameda, your 50th, your golden anniversary. I'm Matthew Goldstein. I am a humanities teacher here at COA. I also serve as the Academic Senate President, and it's really my distinct honor and privilege to be able to salute the college tonight. I wanted to say, while my tenure at the college has been relatively brief, I've only been on the island for about 10% of its history, I feel a very strong affection for it and look forward to many, many more years working with the wonderful students and faculty and staff and administrators and wider community at COA. I wish that things were different. Uh, I wish we could be together in person. I had hoped to include in this video a little montage of the view of downtown San Francisco from the deck on our instructional buildings, of the skywalks that connect the administration building to buildings C and D, of the little plaque in the breezeway between a building and counseling that commemorates the founding of the college in 1970. But of course, under these circumstances, it's very difficult to get to the college. In any case, I am again thrilled to be here addressing you this evening, and I look forward to another five or 10 or 20 or maybe even 50 years at the College of Alameda. And I know the College of Alameda itself looks forward to another millennium or more. So. Thanks again. Happy anniversary, COA, and uh, go Cougars. Hi, everyone. First of all, I just want to say happy 50th anniversary to College of Alameda. My name is Pauline Rojas, and I recently graduated from COA last May 2020 with an AAT degree in psychology. I currently go to UC Berkeley double majoring in sociology and psychology. I also currently work at their physics department as the class engagement coordinator. COA was my home for the past two years. This is where I grew as an individual, where I made friends who I consider as my family now, and without COA, I wouldn't be where I am today. I became active again at COA by joining different organizations like PTK and ASCOA. I also co-founded the first Filipino club there, the Sari Sari Club. COA offered me a lot of resources like EOPS, COA Promise, LRC, and even the professors there became my resources. I can also attest that the counselors I had, shout out to Marisa and to Anna, the directors and supervisors I worked with, shout out to Asia and at the Anna O'Neill, helped made me feel welcome and also taught me a lot of things in life. COA did not only help me academically, but also socially, emotionally, and financially when needed. At College of Alameda, I felt like I belong. It prepared me to what is coming next. I am proud to say that I am a transfer student from College of Alameda. Again, happy 50th anniversary, and I hope that everyone stays safe and well. Hi again, everyone. So excited and hope that you're all enjoying our celebration thus far this evening. We're especially appreciative to Alameda Mayor Marilyn Izzy Ashcraft for kicking off the last segment. And I hope you enjoyed learning more about our amazing Fab Lab. They're such, uh, they do such incredible work and we're so proud of them. We have more great stuff coming up, including our second door prize and more presentations in just a couple of minutes. Lenise, when it comes to hard work, no one works harder than our students, right? That's right, Don. And it takes a village to support their hard work, especially during this, these terrible times and most difficult. Even in the best of times, earning a college degree can be challenging. With the effects of the pandemic, the social unrest, and the change in our climate, these matters have made it especially difficult for our students. 
And we're seeing many of our students struggling more so to stay in class. Although one thing we can say, Don, is that the resilience of our students is truly amazing. You're absolutely right, Lenise. And I want to add that College of Alameda is home to an amazing student body, diverse in every sense of the word. We've had several beautiful testimonials by Jalen Campbell, who was COA's 2020 salutatorian, Israel Kazon, who was uh, the 2020 President's Medallion recipient and was our Associated Student Body President, and Pauline Rojas, uh, who was our 2020 Valedictorian. Such an amazing group of talented students, and they're all now attending UC Berkeley full-time. And their success is due to their hard work and to the extra help that they received along the way, including student scholarships. It's wonderful to see how far students can go in their lives with just a little help along the way. And that's where the Proud to Colleges Foundation and the community can help. Since the onset of the pandemic, we've given out record numbers of many emergency grants to help the students stay in school. These many grants help students with immediate needs that otherwise might derail their studies. And we all want our students to, to be successful. Isn't that right, Don? Absolutely right, Lenise. And we want our students to be successful. And now more than ever, the advantage of having a college education will allow our students to be more competitive, they'll secure higher paying jobs, and they have potential to earn much more in their lives than those without a college degree. And on the sidebar here, to show support for our amazing students working hard to get to the finish line, please consider contributing any amount, large or small, to help us reach our fundraising goal tonight of $25,000. We're almost there, but with your help, we can, we can actually make sure that we make it. When you give your donations, support scholarships, and many grants for our students. Darren? Absolutely. Thanks, Lenise. And we're immensely grateful for all of you for supporting our students tonight. A special shout out needs to go also to our apparel design and merchandising students, uh, Mona Dongre and Alan Wright, because they designed face coverings for our 50th anniversary. You'll see their handiwork at the end of tonight's program, and they'll be given out as gifts to our special student guests tonight and, and special presenters. They have such amazing talents, and it's amazing to see those programs thrive. Now stay tuned for the next raffle prize and more exciting presentations, including Peralta Community College District Chancellor Carla Walter and PCCD Board Trustee Bill Withrow. Welcome back. We have more prizes to give away for you all. We have two prizes for this round. Two winners. The first winner, Stefan Mitchell. The second winner, Maurice Jones. Congratulations, you've won a College of Alameda sweatshirt. Hello, I'm Kawana Rollins, Classified Senate President at the College of Alameda. Today, we're celebrating 50 years of serving our community. And on behalf of all the classified professionals, we want to say happy 50th anniversary, and we look forward to 50 more years of service. Hello, my name is Jaslyn Adams. I am a transfer student from the College of Alameda. I currently work in the apparel industry where I took classes with Mr. Roundtree and Miss. Johnson in tailoring and I learned so many wonderful apparel skills at the College of Alameda. I always recommend the College of Alameda to any inspiring design students that want to earn a degree in fashion. Um, the College of Alameda also helped me to transfer where I had been a working mother going to the Peralta other sister schools to earn my credits to transfer, but it wasn't until I attended the College of Alameda did I work with an exceptional counselor to get on the right path to um, get focused about the credits I needed and was able to uh, transfer. So I would 
always recommend the College of Alameda to any new students or um, high school graduates that are looking to earn credits to go further and pursue their undergraduate degree. Um, the College of Alameda also has an exceptional career workforce center on campus um, where I work with Stephanie Bradshaw and team to also earn a certificate in project management that helped to leverage my career even further. Um, again, College of Alameda, wonderful campus, wonderful place. Please sign up today. The Apparel Design and Merchandising Program is a two-year certificate program. The students learn about the fashion industry through that two-year certificate program from doing design concepts all the way through to finishing with a full collection at the end of their two-year program. We're very proud of our new building. Once we are in it, once we're past this pandemic, we're very proud that uh, we have all new equipment, we have all new facilities. Once our new students get in that building, everything's going to be brand new the furnishings, the equipment, and we can hardly wait to get in there, but it's, it's top of the line. So it puts us in a very good spot as far, again, as being competitive in, in the school market, that we have this brand new facility and we have this brand new equipment. It's a beautiful building. We have uh, beautiful windows that look out on Webster Street. So we're very excited about getting into that new building. Another important feature of our new Center for Liberal Arts is the art gallery and the art studios for the students and faculty in our art programs. Uh, so as you can see here in the art gallery today, there will be opportunities for multiple exhibits from the campus community, whether it's uh, faculty, staff, students. And I think that that's the, something that's just so important for us, those of us who are in a position to try to create it to create the atmosphere of learning, to see that building come from the ground and become a part of our community and a very positive part of the community and have a college atmosphere that's one of discovery, exploration, listening, a sense of hope, a sense of being challenged, all the things that I think everyone dreams about in college or as a college student. Welcome to the College of Alameda's 50th anniversary celebration. College of Alameda has an important part, has been an important part of the Peralta Community College District during its entire 50 year history. During that time, we've seen the island campus evolve to serve students and buildings like the beautiful new center for liberal arts have been constructed, paid for by bonds, generously supported by the public, giving our students access to the state of the art facilities for which they can develop their careers. We've seen numerous innovative programs over the year that show the college cares deeply for the community, like the recent partnership with Eat, Learn, Play and the World Central Kitchen that provides free meals to students during these really uncertain and challenging times. It's exciting to imagine what the future holds for students in the community over the next 50 years. So, you know, I just want to thank you for joining us and supporting the students at College of Alameda. And when the time comes, please join me in making a generous donation to the Peralta Colleges Foundation to help fund scholarships and grants for the students at College of Alameda. My name is Bill Withrow, and I'm an elected trustee on the governing board of the Peralta Colleges. I live in Alameda and I'm a former mayor of the city, and we're very proud to be the host city of the College of Alameda. 50th anniversary, awesome. 1970 is a long time ago. It is my privilege and honor to represent my colleagues on the governing board. I wish all elements of the college a happy anniversary. The school has been a tremendous economic engine for our community and a wonderful resource for post-secondary education. It has been a great source of skilled talent for our workforce and very well prepared candidates for transfer to four year institutions. The enhanced earning power of Alameda graduates has substantially increased the gross domestic product, GDP, of this area and therefore contributed to the overall quality of life 
of all of our residents. It's my sincere gratitude to all hands, that's a Navy guy speaking, who have helped make the College of Alameda a thriving institution for the past 50 years and to set the stage for the next 50. Hello, my name is Adrian Abuyan, and I graduated from the College of Alameda in 2016 with an AA in Liberal Arts and in Social and Behavioral Sciences. I then went on to graduate from UC Berkeley with a Bachelor's of Art in Legal Studies. I then joined the workforce. I moved to Washington, D.C. and worked for United States Senator Dianne Feinstein, then moved back to California to join a public affairs firm located in Oakland, and most recently joined SOS Meals on Wheels as their volunteer program manager. But enough of my, of my time in the workforce thus far, I want to take this opportunity to talk about College of Alameda. First and foremost, I want to offer my most sincere, sincere and deep gratitude for my many professors and for the staff at College of Alameda who made my experience as a first-generation college student an unforgettable one. I am part of the College of Alameda family and know I always will be. I learned a lot about servant leadership during my time at the college and got to join the associate students as their communications officer, then as a vice president of operations, and then ran for the board of trustees of the Peralta Community College District and won the seat of student trustee. I also learned a lot about myself. I learned that I needed to know my education meant a lot more than meeting a deadline and a lot more than just getting good grades. I learned that I needed to use my life and my career to bring about positive and healing change to community and to people's lives. College of Alameda gave that opportunity and I am so thankful for it. Cheers to many more years and to the 50th anniversary of the college and I hope for many more years in believing in students, to helping them achieve their goals and dreams, and to bring about lasting success to their lives. I look forward to advocating and being a partner with the College of Media for many more years. Congratulations again. My name is Tina Vasconcellos, and I've been the Vice President of Student Services at College of Alameda since 2016. First of all, I wanna say happy anniversary to all of the College of Alameda alumni, students, faculty, and classified professionals. It's your hard work that has helped College of Alameda thrive for the past five decades. It's been my privilege to lead an incredibly talented team of faculty and classified professionals and administrators who are dedicated to helping our students succeed to reach their academic goals, from counseling to admissions, from financial aid, assistance to our extended opportunity programs and services, from our free health and wellness center to our Veterans Resource Center. College of Alameda students have access to a full range of support to help them succeed in their classes, succeed in their career, and succeed as they transfer to four-year universities. These past months have been extraordinarily challenging for all of us. While our students have struggled, we have tried to help them by providing a whole new array of services, including our grab and go free lunch program through our partners with Eat, Learn, Play and World Central Kitchen, our Chromebook loan program, lending out hotspots, our Wi-Fi parking lot service, and also new features online like the talk to chat for students to do drop in counseling and also new online and Zoom workshops. I'd also like to highlight that we have an amazing career center that's here to serve not only our students, but the surrounding community. And especially during this time where individuals have been losing their jobs due to COVID and uh, companies closing, it's been amazing to see the services provided for our students and community. Those are just a few of the great resources that we have here at the college and that we've had for the past few decades. Happy anniversary, College of Alameda. All of us in student services look forward to being a part of the next 50 years. Hi again, everyone. I hope you enjoyed the many stories and celebratory moments of COA during that last segment. Did you know that many of our students are the very first in their families to pursue a college education? And about 60% of our students are eligible for some sort of financial aid. 
Lenise mentioned earlier uh, some mini grants, especially ones that came to us from the federal government for COA uh, for COVID, but uh, those grants are used up and students are in such great need. Financial aid alone isn't enough to cover all the needs of our college students and their expenses. Things like basic food and shelter, uh, necessities that they need now for um, being online and in their classrooms, often in Zoom, and uh, taking lectures, having adequate Wi-Fi access. It takes a lot more than it might have many years ago at the start of the college. It's estimated now that our full-time students are paying about $24,000 a year. That includes about $1,300 in enrollment fees to go full-time, over $1,000 a year in books and supplies, over $17,000 a year in room and board, miscellaneous personal expenses of around $4,000, totaling around $24,000 a year to be a full-time student at COA. And that's why we're asking you all tonight in, that have come here in celebration of the College of Alameda's wonderful history to help us to help us fund the college's vision for a better future by making a contribution today, a contribution that will help provide emergency grants and scholarships for students today and tomorrow. On the side, you'll see um, the button and click the button on the side to be able to share a gift of education during this, this season of giving. Thank you, Lenise. Um, we wanted to uh, especially thank everyone and remind you that your tax, your donations tonight are tax deductible and any amount makes a huge difference in the lives of our students for the emergency grant fund and student scholarships. They'll go a long way to helping our students succeed in all their endeavors. We really wanna thank you in advance for your generous support. We hope you enjoy the rest of tonight's 50th anniversary gala. And while I'm watching the video, I'm gonna go donate myself to that scholarship fund. Thank you, Lenise, for setting all that up. We really appreciate you. Thank you, thank you. Bienvenidos, we are back with our last prize giveaway and we want to thank Folate Corporation and the College of Alameda Bookstore for providing all of these prizes for us. I have my friend here again, the Cougar, who's going to be helping me with the last two drawings. So we have two more winners. Rashid Shabazz, our first winner. And Jackie Vo, congratulations, you've won a College of Alameda hoodie. Good evening, College of Alameda family and friends. I'm Don Miller, Vice President of Instruction here at the college. I'm so glad that you could join us this evening in celebration of the 50th anniversary of the college. The college's success over the past five decades has been possible only because of the thousands of hardworking students who have entered our classrooms over the years, the families and loved ones who supported them, and to our dedicated staff, faculty, and administrators who have helped students succeed in their pursuit of a college education. I'm proud of the fact that our students have gone on to achieve success, whether they transferred to four-year universities or became established in new careers. This evening is about you. At College of Alameda, our academic offerings include courses that allow students to transfer to a four-year university as a junior and unique career education programs to train for new well-paying careers in technical fields. By having a college degree or career training, our students multiply their job opportunities. Around 66% of U.S. jobs now require some type of college degree or training and the job market is more competitive than ever. We're working hard here at COA to keep pace with the demands that students will face in an ever-changing and more challenging job and career market. We're adding new programs, expanding existing offerings, and focusing on the needs of our students. In 2019, the California Community College's Chancellor's Office California Apprenticeship Initiative 
awarded College of Alameda two grants to support workforce training programs. In addition, last year College of Alameda received a U.S. Department of Education Title V Hispanic Serving Institutions grant. HSI grants are awarded competitively each year to colleges and universities with a population of 25% or more Hispanic and Latinx students. COA is the first of the four Peralta colleges to earn this award, and through this grant, we've created the Acceso and Puente programs for our students. 2020 has been a difficult year for the entire community as we've struggled to face a global pandemic and continue to offer high quality learning environments for our students. Faculty, staff, administrators, and student workers have gone to incredible lengths to build student-centered online environments for classroom and support services. Countless hours have been spent learning to teach and offer student support in an online environment. And I want to give my heartfelt thanks to all who have done such tremendous work. Also this year, in the wake of the murders of George Floyd, Breonna Taylor, Ahmaud Aubrey, and so many other African Americans, we have seen a tremendous call to action for racial and social justice. The campus has redoubled its efforts towards equity for our students and fighting systemic racism and discrimination faced by many of our campus and community members. Campus leaders from the Peralta Association of African American Affairs brought us the 1619 Project to learn the effects of the transatlantic slave trade on American culture, economics, education, and society. Nearly 60 faculty, staff, and administrators trained at the Equity Academies to promote student-centered education and equity for our students who face many barriers to progress in their education. The employees trained in a series of classroom and student services practices that are anti-racist, anti-sexist, and pro-student. There is much more to be accomplished, but we are committed to finding, fighting discrimination in all its forms in support of our employees and students. Finally, I'd like to say to all of our students, employees, community members, and alumni that we are here for you, we support you, and we look forward to being here for you for the next 50 years. Happy anniversary, College of Alameda. It's the year of the goat, and what better way to celebrate than with the College of Alameda Dance Department. Led by Danny Nguyen, the performances ranged from traditional Vietnamese to ballet and even a little cha-cha. Gong hye phat choi. I just really want to thank our professors and our students for coming out today and doing programs like this that really enhance the cultural diversity of our college and increase equity here at the College of Alameda. This is exactly what we want to see and enjoy. Also, it's a celebration because it is New Year's for many, many people. You don't see that many um, dance teachers dancing with the students, and there are two things about Danny. One, he really loves to dance, so he will dance, you know, and that is really awesome because he shares it with us, so we're more a part of it. And the other thing is with um, the diversity that he has to work with, inevitably, in the community college setting, it's perfect for him because he really enjoys problem solving and making dances that look good on, on everybody. You know, that's where a lot of his creativity comes in. I love to see different ages, different faces, different liability, because, you know, I mean, I have disability in my class, and you know, they're enjoying it. That's what I love it about. I want to give fair for every student. In addition to dancing here at College of Alameda and dancing around the community a whole lot, we also periodically dance in Vietnam and uh, dance in the communities that have orphanages, for example. We dance for the elders. You dance for, for really isolated communities. And then you go from there to the heart of Hanoi. And it's a, it's a, a night market, and people are hustling and bustling around. And, and everywhere you go, you know, people's mouths are dropping, and they're watching. I um, didn't dance until I was maybe 50. 45, 50, something like that. It's one of the things I love about College of Alameda. It's um, community college, community oriented. You can usually find a time to take a class that you love, you know, because the, the college respects the fact that a lot of people are working. If you haven't found yourself or what you're going to do, you're going to find it somewhere in Peralta system. My name is Hawaii Ann Fan, and I'm a former student at College of Alameda. I graduated College of Alameda in spring 2018. I earned a transfer degree in business here. What I really love about being a college student were the wonderful staff and students here. 
the most important experience that I'm grateful for was taking an opportunity to be a student worker at College of Alameda Career and Employment Center. This is a career center that provides services to help people gain access to employment. The experiences I gained from this career center was communicating with clients in person or phone, enhancing my computer skills, and improving my teamwork in the workplace. I transferred to CSU East Bay in fall 2018 and graduated in spring 2020 with a bachelor's degree in business. Now, I am working as a consultant with the College of Alameda Career and Employment Center to provide services to those in need during this pandemic and to help people gain access to employment. College of Alameda has helped me achieve a transfer degree. I would recommend COA to others and gain these experiences that I have gained. I would like to thank all the COA staff and members of the Career Center who have assisted me throughout this journey. Thank you. Good evening. I hope you've enjoyed the program thus far. Over the past 50 years, the College of Alameda has been a vital and significant part of its community, providing high quality education to students from diverse backgrounds for lifelong learning, career preparation and advancement, associate degrees, and transfer to four-year colleges and universities. During this time, COA has become a comprehensive college distinguished for its academic excellence, student empowerment, and community engagement. It is a college characterized by success and resilience. The faculty, staff, and students have much to be proud of and celebrate. As we look to the future together, we will build on the strong foundation of the college's 50-year history and create a shared vision for the decade ahead that is bold and inspiring. We will meet current challenges of the COVID-19 pandemic, a national call for dismantling systemic racism and an economic recession with hope, creativity, courage, and determination. Our strength as an institution lies in the diversity and unity of our student, faculty, staff, and community partners. As we chart the future course of the College of Alameda, let us do so with passion, a focus on student access and success, and a commitment to equity, excellent fiscal stewardship, and continuous improvement in institutional effectiveness. I believe we must meet the world as it is and work diligently to make it a better place for everyone. I look forward to working with the College of Alameda community to build this vision and plan for the future that we can all be proud of as we continue to educate world changers who are diverse, ethical, compassionate, and critical thinking. Thank you for joining us this evening. Stay safe and have a good night. Good evening and congratulations. My name is Guy Danari, and as a former College of Alameda student and on behalf of the Peralta Colleges Foundation Board, I want to extend our congratulations to the College of Alameda for its first 50 years. Here's for the next 50 years and beyond. Hello, my name is Scott Coffin, Chief Executive Officer at Alameda Alliance for Health. The Alliance formed in 1996 as a public managed care health plan and today serves more than a quarter million residents in Alameda County. And I'm recognizing the College of Alameda for 50 years of continuous service in our local communities, serving an important mission that helps people reach their personal and professional goals through high quality educational programs. 
To the students, Dr. Miller and faculty at the College of Alameda, congratulations on your first 50 years. the athletic director here at the College of Alameda. On behalf of our women's and men's athletic teams, we'd like to wish College of Alameda happy 50th anniversary. Go Cougars! Wow.